Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Late Night Brew, where we talk the brews first, and then we get around to what we're supposed to eventually. Joining me for the next episode of this series is, of course, the wonderful Neil Twelve West. Welcome back, buddy. Hey, Bucky. Nice to see you again. Nice to be here. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate your time. Now, before we dive into where Copilot can be utilized in the office suite and the tenant as a whole, you're a strong veteran of this process. So what brew are you having with me today? Yeah, so today I, I've broken from my tradition on this series so far, and I've actually got some real beer. So today I have got something called Hawkstone Lager. Can you see that? Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. This is this is very well known in England. It's uh, made by Jeremy Clarkson, um, so of Top Gear of fame. Course, yeah, yeah. So it's a very very well known lager. So I'm sampling it for the first time. Ah, hopefully it's pretty good. Yeah. I've I've got a uh, this was one of those hey this is your last chance and I think it's technically expired and that's why it was really cheap uh, <laughs> Hong Kong pale ale and Ooh. it's got mandarin and bergamot and zest it's that, actually that sounds really good. nice that sounds it, nice it is it's like if you you have like a really fruity Earl Grey then of course with like you know all the beer behind it but it's yeah. it's definitely reminiscent of that uh huh. Good so, stuff. Yeah, it's something totally different. Uh, bought it for Sounds my wife. Great. She loves Earl Grey. So <laughs> there's, there's there's actually there's actually a hat that goes with this as well. I've actually got a a Diddley Scott Farm hat as well. So we go we go with the hat on this one. <laughs> I like it. Uh, and then I got some weeds that you could could work on. To... <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> where else? We touched on a bit with uh, Outlook and Teams and and a little bit of other. Where else within the office suite can Copilot be taken advantage of or, or utilized? Yeah, so I think really sort of diving into the productivity side of things now. So I think two applications that um, that I've personally really benefited from Copilot with, and hopefully this will resonate with people as well, uh, Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint, the two kind of mainstays of so much of the work that we do. Um, so a, 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 a useful kind of use case that I had recently was uh, writing a long, wordy technical solution design document in Word, um, capturing all the functional and technical requirements. I needed a way of kind of uh, shortening that, simplifying it, so that I could present it to a customer. Great thing is, open up PowerPoint, click on the Copilot icon, say, create a presentation from a file. I can then select my word, my wordy Word document, <laughs> Copilot goes away in PowerPoint and generates from scratch a brand new presentation. My Word document was 40 odd pages. My <laughs> PowerPoint, the PowerPoint presentation that Copilot produced off the back of that was eight slides, nicely formatted, bullet point, succinct, need a little bit of editing, but a really good kind of example of kind of meshing uh, PowerPoint and Word. So th yeah. th that's a kind of a good use case, I think. Wow, uh, that's actually really awesome. Uh, talk about boiling it down to, to the necessities. Yeah. Uh, what I've found pretty useful is, you know, when you're writing the document and you're, you're struggling with not repeating the same phrase like four yeah. times over, or you're, you're just, you're fighting with that phrasing of like, well, everything I'm thinking of sounds Literally. just completely insane. Yeah, uh, I have done it where, you know, hey, Copilot, what's a short way to describe, you know, this? And I really like it gives you like five options. And you're like, oh, yeah. that's per some of the, the wordings that have come up. I'm like, oh, my God, you know, yeah. language bottle. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, really cool. And even with the with the PowerPoint presentation, as I've said, you still need to do a little bit of tailoring afterwards. But, you know, you can add additional suggestions like, please, could you add a slide on this subject, or could you expand that slide to include this? So Copilot kind of works with you developing that over over the whole course of the evolution of, of the work that you're doing. Very yeah, cool. That's really cool. I'll have to, next PowerPoint I need to build, I'll have to do Copilot on. Yeah, to try it. Yeah, definitely. Now, the greater tenant stepping out just from, from the, the office tools that we know and love so much, where else can Copilot be used within the 365 tenant? 
Yes. So, I mean, there, there is actually a long list of co-pilots now that Microsoft's bringing out. But again, I think just to try and sort of keep keep within the context of most users or you know, most companies uh, experience. So you have Copilot for the Power Platform now. Again, um, sort of sits quite well with a lot of the work I do. So I do a lot of work with uh, Power Apps and Power Automate Flows. Uh, great, you know, uh, being able to prompt Power Automate to say, create me a flow that sets up an approval process um, with, with parallel approvals. Copilot will go off and do that. Um, and then we've got things like Copilot for security. We've got Copilot oh, yeah. co security, yeah. So, um, you know, beginning to use the power of AI to do threat detection and things like that. Um, I, that's probably more your area, Buck. I don't know whether you've done much on the security side of things or. Plenty. Uh, I, I yeah. haven't yet. I've, I've dipped a little bit of a toe. I've watched some on Copilot for security and I just haven't had a chance yet to, to get my hands around it to really yeah. see what it could do. Yeah. And then I think we've got sort of, you know, the wider ecosystem around Copilot, um, Copilot Studio, which mm -hmm. allows customers to basically build out and extend these Copilot capabilities into, uh, you know, areas even outside of Microsoft 365. So third party connectors, mm -hmm. bring that into Studio, customize your own Copilot prompts. So, yeah, it's a it's a big world and it's expanding as a full fully featured ecosystem out there for Copilot now. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, and I love the idea of using automation to create more automation, right? Robots building yeah. robots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to have co-pilots that create co-pilots. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah. it, I used to joke that 365 was SharePoint all the way down. I'm going to have to change that joke to it's just co-pilot all the way down. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> very much, yeah. It's very much like that. On, on that terrible joke and slight literary reference, uh, depending on your taste, we are out of time. Neil, thank you once again for joining You're me, welcome. sir. You're welcome. If you want to know more, please feel free to reach out. All of our contact information is below. Or if you want to get your organization ready for Copilot, we're here to help. Until next episode, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, Bob. <laughs>